Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Two Dudes in a Couch, where we wade through the crap... It's getting deep in here. ...to find you the hidden horror gems on Netflix Instant. I'm Travis. And I'm Brian. Today's film is called Prey. Prey is a debut film from director Anthony Blagier. Prey tells the story of Nathan, who is visiting his wife's family farm and pesticide plant. He is supposed to be there to support his wife as she announces her pregnancy when a weird incident involving some mutilated deer pulls its attention elsewhere. And that's when the Mancho men in the family go on a hunt to kill the predator that is invading their land. And that's when all hell breaks loose. So Travis, what's your initial thoughts on this? Well, Brian, this is the only trailer I could find online. And honestly, it wasn't that good. It looks like it's just another Hogzilla flick. But... I'm hoping there's more to it than that. The trailer states that the same people who do the special effects for The Matrix and Batman Begins worked on this flick. So with that in mind, do you think we're going to see some hogs pulling The Matrix style on this? Uh-uh. Can't do that, bro. <sighs> Alright. I'll get it set up while you head to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. And we're back. So man, now that you've seen it, what do you think of this film? Well, frankly, I'm shocked because based on the trailer, I thought that this movie was going to be a stinker, but it turned out to be pretty sweet. What did you think? Well, I think they need to fire whoever put together this trailer because overall, man, this movie is pretty good. Though, I must say, I was a little disappointed. There wasn't any Matrix hogs in it. Alright, so let's break this down a bit. For a film that had very small budget, they had some really smooth cinematography. Anthony does an excellent job of setting the pace for the film. The human story really delivers, and it goes way beyond the simple Hogzilla flick. So instead of hamming it up and making this, like, 3,000-pound hog, Prey decided to focus on increased aggression instead. So don't expect to see a 10-foot tall boar here. In this movie, Prey, man, they did a really good job of making sure you didn't quite see what the hog looked like. From a social standpoint, Prey shows the dangers of greed and big business. That's right. There's more to Prey than your average Hogzilla film. In this movie, greed proves to be more dangerous than Puma on steroids. Note to self, strong pesticides plus naturally aggressive animals, not a good combination. With virtually every story, there's a weakness, and Prey is no exception to that rule. We won't give away any spoilers. However, there was one scene that was really confusing. It occurs when the group of hunters find the source of the pollution. So where this movie misses marked is I didn't really go into detail how the pesticides really affected these hogs. Are we led to believe that really this mother had these babies and two days later they're 400 pounds already? Just doesn't make sense. But don't let that sway you too much. With all horror movies, you kind of have to leave your brain at the door. The tension builds evenly throughout the whole film. There's also some great foreshadowing of the events that are about to take place. The lead actor, Gregory Collin, who weirdly looks a whole lot like Adrian Brody, too. To build on the human drama in the story, Nathan finds himself having to choose between doing what he believes is right, even if it cost him what he dears most. So how does Prey compare to similar genre films? Prey rises above most killer hog films like Shaw and Pig Hunt, with the clear exception of the Australian hog film Razorback, which started the killer hog trend back in 1984, when I was just four years old. Four. So what is our rating for Prey? Well, two dudes in the couch, we give Prey a four. <laughs> Kill rating. That's right, if you're in the mood for a stop polluting the earth because the animals go crazy and kill your butt, kind of Pumbaa on meth, greedy guy gets what's coming to him, then drop what you're doing and head over to Netflix right now and watch this on Instant Stream. And once you're done, find us on Facebook at Kojo Films and tell us what you thought about these reviews, about what you thought of the film, and just leave your comments below. We want to hear from you. And if there's a film that you think went under the radar and really needs to be reviewed so people know just how awesome it is, let us know and we'll see what we can do to make it show up on Two Dudes in the Counts in the future. So until then, stay, stay bloody. bloody. I was like this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>